right, you ready? Is it, go is it work? Right, we're here. Great. <laughs> right, you stay there. Right. <laughs> All of these people are Australian. <laughs> In some way. You can tell they're Australian because they go around the other way. <laughs> Which part of Australia are you from, Australians? Sydney. All over Australia! I know what you're thinking. Wait a minute. That means there's nobody in Australia tonight. <laughs> They're all here! <laughs> Young man! <laughs> Please state your name for the ladies and gentlemen at home. Hello, I'm Philip. Philip? Yeah. That's it? Like yeah. Sting? <laughs> <laughs> Philip Wieder. Philip Peter. Wieder. Wieder. Yeah. Where, where are you from, Philip? Germany. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. I see. What are you doing in LA? Part of an advance party or something? Yeah. <laughs> so, are you on vacation? Uh, no, I'm a student um, in San Diego. Oh, at the nice. San Diego then. State University. Well, what, what are you doing there? What are you studying? Hey, yeah. knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> Business administration. Business administration, eh? Yeah. <laughs> nice jacket, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I just bought it. Yeah. We had to make him put on a jacket because he was wearing a t shirt that had a picture of a naked lady on it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the reason why I've brought you out from the studio audience, Philip, okay. and there is a reason, yeah. <laughs> is that unbeknownst to you, you are an exact doppelganger. That's a German word. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what it means? Yeah. Good. Uh, <laughs> you are a doppelganger for a young, brilliant English soccer player. He's not young anymore, he's older now, but you look exactly like Gary Lineker. Now, Gary Lineker, if you, if you have, do, do we have a picture of Gary Lineker? Put it up then. There's Gary Lineker. Uh, Is your mind uh -oh. blown? <laughs> yeah. And like, I came out to say hello to the ladies and gentlemen, and you had taken the form of Gary Lineker. <laughs> but I think I know what you're up to, Gary Lineker, Philip. Old Nick, <laughs> Beelzebub, the Earl of Hell. <laughs> Taking the form of a great English striker does not fool me. It's only a joke, man. I know you're not saying it. It's all right. <laughs> so, tonight's guest is my. No, no way! I have one thing to do here, and it's to read that. Now, tonight's guest, and that's it. But you can do it if you want. It's okay. all right. Yeah, it's all right. Go ahead, do it. Oh, tonight's guest, Michael Clark Duncan and Laura Prepon. Oh, very good. That's Philip, everybody. <laughs> Please state your names for the folks at home, beginning with the you, young lady. Kate O'Brien. Kate O'Brien. Hey, that was the name of the character in the Drew Carey show. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I was in that show. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> Kate O'Brien. Yes. From? Ireland. Nice. And you, sir? Jared Style. Jared Style. From? New York. Ah. Doesn't look anything like he does in the sandwich commercials. <laughs> <laughs> Do you two know each other? Yes. What's your relationship? It's my boyfriend. <laughs> it's your boyfriend, eh? Yes. So, you thought you would snare an American boyfriend to get yourself a passport, eh? <laughs> well, you picked the wrong guy, because Jared is, in fact, an undercover agent <laughs> for that... What's that thing the people that used to chase me around all the time? Oh, yeah. the, uh, the Arizona people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are they called again? INS, yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, well, no, are, are you, uh, are, do you have American citizenship? No, I don't live here. Oh, you don't live here? No. Ah, 
Ah, so you thought you'd get yourself an Irish passport by snaring yourself a beautiful young Colleen from the Edinburgh Isle. Good on you, by the way. I... <laughs> Have you been to Ireland? Yes. Which part? Uh, Dublin, mainly, but all over. Is that where you're from, Dublin? Yes. I see. Have you read the works of James Joyce? Don't worry, I neither started. has anyone else. <laughs> I don't even think James Joyce read the works of James Joyce. He's no. like, he, read, he wrote the first 50 pages and went, no one will get past this. <laughs> I look forward to your well-written critique of what I just said. <laughs> well, welcome to the... How long have you two been dating? Six years. Dude. <laughs> Dude. Dude. Come on. <laughs> Has the subject ever come up? <laughs> yeah. Six thousand miles. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's a yes. I see. Uh, what do you do for a living? I'm a musician. I see. And so, uh, what do you do for a living? I'm a midwife. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to ask questions about that? No, no. I, I'm very. I have. I have two kids. I was there. Do you know what I was surprised at when the babies come out? Though is that all the additional material that you yeah, get? Yeah. Surprising. Oh, Unbelievable! Yeah. I was like, no one tells you about that. I know, that's why you have a lot of fainting dads. Yeah, well, is that why they faint? I, I didn't faint, I went, woohoo! <laughs> surprise face. Yeah, it was a surprise, that was like bonus gift. Uh, <laughs> have you ever attended one of her midwifery events? No. Yeah, I see. <laughs> have uh, you ever attended one of his performances as a musician? I have, yes. Yeah. What do you play? I play guitar. Huh. You're quite cool, actually, aren't you? <laughs> You're, you're quite cool. You're, I'm kind of intimidated. It's <laughs> the so last time we'll have somebody as cool as you on CBS, I tell you. That. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right. Okay. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? Oh, my. <laughs> Welcome back to the show, everybody. <laughs> Kate and Jared are still here. <laughs> And they're still going out that six years and an hour. <laughs> so, here's what we figured. A little bit of extra time, a little money, because there's only one guest tonight, you, who left with the 50 bucks. So there's an extra 50 bucks, and you left the CD, so it's time. What time is it, Shadows David? It's time for the big cash prize. And with the additional Hugh Laurie CD. So, here's what you can win. All you have to do is either guess what's in my box, or answer a question. Which would you prefer? Um, it's on you. Answer a question. Answer a question. <laughs> you ready? Jeff, do you want to read the question? How dare you. <laughs> yeah. oh, I love doing that. Uh, no, all right. Um, here we are. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, you can use this uh, 50 bucks to perhaps pay something. <laughs> Maybe have an event together. <laughs> All right. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. True or false? Panama hats were actually invented in the neighboring country of Ecuador. True or false? True or false? True or false? Probably. Do, no, wait, don't answer too quickly. <laughs> true. Remember <laughs> true. Um, true. True is the correct answer. You win $50. You win a CD. We gotta go. Good night, everybody. Take care. Please uh, state your name uh, for the ladies and gentlemen at home. My name is Marine. Marine? Yeah. I see. Oh, the C. <laughs> Marine. <laughs> Where are you from, Marine? I'm from France. Mm, France, you say? Yeah. Which part of France? South of France. South of France. <laughs> Would that be near? Marseille? Exactly. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> you are from Marseille? Yeah. Is that why you're called Marine? Mm, I don't think so. Okay. Not everybody called Marine in Marseille. No, I know <laughs> not everybody's called Marine. That would be very confusing. Marine? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you doing in Los Angeles? Uh, I'm studying English and I get a band. 
You have a band? A rock band. A yeah. rock band? Yeah. A French rock band? Yeah. That'll be great. Isn't that great? No, I believe you. Did, did you all come over from Marseille? Yeah. What is the name of your band? Rocket Queens. I like them. <laughs> and we're playing the House of Blues in two weeks. You are? Yeah. You might actually, you're good then. I think so. <laughs> Very impressive. I'm suddenly thinking you probably could do better than be on this show, Marie. <laughs> Have you ever been to Paris? Yeah, sure. My brother lived in Paris. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Maybe I've met him. We were in Paris earlier this year. Oh, there's a lot what's of people What's your brother's in name? Paris. Well, what's his name? Uh, Jeff. Yes! <laughs> you met him. Yes. Jeff. He's awesome, yeah. Uh, well, his name is Jeff. Yeah, and I know. we met that. And he's awesome, too. Yeah, remember that other guy, Jeff, that we met? Oh, yeah, he you was remember? great. Marine's brother. No way. Yeah. What are the odds? <laughs> You know that the shows that we made in France, we're repeating next week. When I say repeating, it's an encore performance. You know like when, <laughs> you know when, um, when your band is playing and you do really well and the audience go, more! Yeah. That's what we're doing, except no one asked for more, but we're doing it anyway. <laughs> we're doing it anyway. Okay. Well, I, I wish you luck with the, what's the name of the Rocky? Rocket Queens. Rocket Queens, yes. I was going to say the Rocky Peppers. That's completely different. <laughs> no, that's not me. No. So the Rocket Queens, eh? Yeah. Oh, that's good. What type of music do you play? I said rock and roll, like 80s music. Really? <laughs> it's surprising, right? <laughs> no, no. Not really. Well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, how many people are in your band? Four people. Well, we should book our band. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, this is not legally binding, but when can you make it? <laughs> Michael, can you find a time when we could have the Rocket Queens on the show? Yeah. yeah. Do you have uh, work permits? Uh, no. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but so many people are American in the band. So. Well, you know, if you're going to play rock and roll, you're going to need a couple of Americans <laughs> in your band. <laughs> All right, so they'll be fine, but you need to have, you'll need to have your papers done or else, you know, we're a union house, you know. No. Yeah. Yes, yeah. No. Don't say anything against the unions, they'll kill you on the way back to your seat. <laughs> well, I think we just, I think we should book the Rocket Queens on the show and, and then, if they're good, they'll get on a better show. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody, we'll be right back. Hey, it's Bridger and Alex, everybody! I don't know if you remember, Bridger and Alex, uh, Bridger here uh, once was uh, an intern and now is a full-blown production assistant. And, uh... <laughs> And Alex uh, is an intern at the moment, and when Alex joined the show, I said, well, you guys are similar height and colouring, you should be a couple. Um, and, uh, and here we are to announce their engagement. <laughs> wait, 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 I just made that up. I don't know if it's true. Is it true? No. 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 Oh, you thought it was? Bridget. Sorry, Bridger. No, Bridger, no, it's, it's all right. You guys getting along? You playing nice? Yeah. All right. Yeah. You having a fun time? Mm-hmm. Good. Lots of running around. Well, yeah, 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 look adorable, the pair of you. It's just... <laughs> I feel enormous standing here. <laughs> I mean, you guys could live in the space between my tie and my pants. Well, it's working out. So, uh, how long have you got to go on your internship then, Alex? I think four months. Four months? Mm -hmm. Still to go? Still to go. Oh, yeah. and then you get a college credit? Yeah, six of them. Six credits? Yeah. Yeah. What the hell are you studying? <laughs> Theater and film. Oh, well, I guess that yeah. would make sense, uh, you know, what to avoid. <laughs> How's it going with you, Bridger? Enjoying the high life? Yeah, you absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Richard, I kind of feel you hate me. <laughs> well, not all the time, only when I put you on camera. The rest of the time when you're going around the office, you're like, hey, hey, and then the minute I, we put you on the camera, you're like, eh. 
no, no. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. He just needs more caffeine, I think. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm trying. <laughs> I don't get them to see that. I think we should send you guys on a mission somewhere. Mm. I have decided, much to the fear of the producers who have just now thought, <laughs> oh, right, he's going to spend some money. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah, but I just thought we should. We should send you off to do what are the other late night. Do they do? They do remote pieces where people go places and do reports. I got that. We should do that too. <laughs> yeah, we should. Yeah, we should do. It. Yeah, we're going. Rocky Dinga. Do that. <laughs> now, where would you like to go, kids? Remember, your budget's fifty bucks. Mm. Uh, well, we go to the Grove enough. The Grove. No, not the Grove. Not the Grove. Not no, the Grove. further away. And the Grove's a shopping mall that's a walking distance from here. Yes. Uh, yes. You could aim higher. Yeah. Maybe the zoo. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all right. All right, Bridger. You and your fiance, sort of, <laughs> Alex, are gonna go to the zoo. All right. Which zoo? Well, wait, we don't know which zoo yet. A zoo that will make us a deal. <laughs> your move, zoos of America, within, within driving distance of this studio. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Please state your name for the folks at home, would you? Hi, I'm Emily. No, no don't say hi, I'm Emily. Oh. It's as you know, properly with your second name and stuff. Oh, Emily Langsenkamp. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> it's a mouthful, that's why I left it out. No, it's great. Oh. Uh, where are you from, Emily Huckleheaven? <laughs> Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale in Florida? Yes. I've been there. You have? I have. Do you I... like it? Wait, 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 I do this. <laughs> <laughs> so you're Emily Flavon from Fort Lauderdale. Yes. I see. Were you originally from there? Or did yes. you really? Yes. Oh. Uh, what did you do there? Um, I just actually got a job working for Morgan Stanley. So That's a popular company. Yeah. <laughs> They advertise on CBS? And they won't know, right? Yeah. <laughs> so that's good. Uh, what do you do at Morgan Stanley? Um, I'm going to work for regional executive director. I see. Yes. I don't know what you mean by that. <laughs> I was going to say I was going to work under a regional executive director, but uh -huh. I knew. I knew. And then I'd go, whoa! And then Jeff would go, oh! Uh -huh. So you've seen the show before then? Yeah. yeah. Him. Well, yeah, he's, yeah. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's uh, you know, he's a gay a robot. character, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're in Lesbian Row tonight then? I know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, how's that working out for you then? Really well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Made any friends? Oh, yeah. With the other two. There's three. <laughs> so, you don't, so you don't like one of them, eh? I see. So, Emily Horson Pfeffer from Fort Robert. <laughs> I know one too well already. How's that? Getting to know the other two. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. So, a little bit of a mashup later yeah. on or yeah. something? Yeah. <laughs> nice. This is real fun, this isn't is it? This is great. Yeah. I know. I know a lot of people say, this show is terrible. I go, yeah, to watch, but to do, it's fun, oh, it's right? Awesome. Yeah. Do you like the way I'm doing this? I love it. Thanks. You look really manly. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I, I really like your top. Thank you. And your bottom. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, Emily Huffenfuffer. I gotta say, <laughs> I gotta say, I haven't had so much fun since. When's the last time we had fun, Jeff? Oh, since about two minutes ago. <laughs> when you first met me. Hi, I'm Jeff Peterson. <laughs> What? I was just introducing myself. Oh, I see. Uh, you, you, have you met Emily Huffenfuffer? Yeah, we go way back, me and Emily Huffenfuffer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you know that a Huffenfuffer is actually a slang word on the internet for a, an act? Oh, really? No, no. Oh. But, it, <laughs> but if it was, what would you like it to be? <laughs> I know, we got to go to a commercial break. Yeah, all right, sorry. Okay. So uh, that, was, that was fun. That was great. Yeah. 
Thanks for having me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I didn't have you. <laughs> You'd know. Uh -huh. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> Ladies, please state your name for the folks at home. I'm Courtney. Mm -hmm. I'm Julia. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Courtney and Julia, I believe this is your first date. You met online? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> see, here's what I have. Here's what I have. Right, see. Here's what I have. There's a couple in the front row who, this is their first date, and they met online. And they were like, hey, you know, we, this is our first date. We met online. That'd be interesting. I'm like... <laughs> we'll get to you, daters. <laughs> Ladies, what do you do for a living? Uh, we work at an IT department. At school. Yeah. School, you say? Yeah. What kind of school? A college school. Ah. <laughs> Were you uh, at the uh, Super Bowl yesterday? I wasn't at the Super Bowl. <laughs> well, I mean, were you watching? Yes. Uh-huh. Was it fun? Yes. No. Who won? <laughs> So IT, eh? You study uh, robots, etc. <laughs> all the time. But what do you do in IT? I mean, I hear people say IT all the time, and I'm like, well, what is it? And they go, oh, you know. <laughs> so what is it? What's IT? Uh, computers, computers and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so it's your first day, you say? Eh? with America's fit. Whoa, hey, whoa, 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 hey! Well, you got an arrow between the eyes up there. <laughs> wow. Don't forget, I'm a bow lady. Yeah. <laughs> well, goodbye, back, everybody. I'm here with America's favorite bow lady. <laughs> wow. Uh, kicking see <laughs> They're kicking oh, them up. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah. <laughs> they'll, they'll rough them up outside as well. Wow. Yeah, you they do that to me. I have rules. to pay extra for you it. You have but... tight rules up in here. Yeah, oh, you can yeah. cuss like a drunken sailor up here, but yeah. that one guy's like, Whoa, I love you. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Please state your name for the folks at home. Ben Dukes. Ben Dukes. Yes, sir. <laughs> Where are you out of, Ben Dukes? LaGrange, Georgia. Ben Dukes out of LaGrange, Georgia. Yes, sir. Ben, you have a job here at the show? Yes, sir. What do you do here, Ben? I am an audience coordinator. Yes. <laughs> ben, last night on the show, one of the audience needed coordinated by you, didn't he, Ben? Yes, sir. What happened, Ben? He uh, decided to scream out in the middle of the show, which is a bit disruptive. I've had the same thing happen to me during sex, Ben. <laughs> I mean, you coming in and throwing people up. <laughs> so, I want to ask you, Ben. Do you tell the studio audience before they come in here to behave themselves? We, we mention it. And so this, this jackanape, this rapscallion, he, he yelled right out when uh, Christina Applegate was there. He yelled, he said, Kelly Bundy, didn't he? he I love you, Kelly Bundy. Oh, I said, was there. <laughs> what a bastard. Yeah. Did you rough him up outside? I can't talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> You're pretty tall, aren't you? Kinda. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty tall too, yeah, but next to you, I don't, I don't, normally I pick shorties out of the audience, so I look tall. Oh. Then I thought, well, I'll have you come down, and, and then now I look like a, like a little feller. <laughs> Do you like little fellers, Ben? <laughs> don't have any hiding around here anywhere. <laughs> you? So what I, what I want the, the studio audience to be aware of, and you at home, if you yell out during the show, he'll come to your house <laughs> and throw you out of your own house. <laughs> Van Dukes, everybody, we'll be right back. <laughs> it's good, it's good, it's good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs>
<laughs> Ladies, please state your name and your occupation, beginning here. Christina. Elizabeth. Pam. Rachel. And they're all unemployed, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> now, the four of you are all sitting together. Did you all arrive at the same time? Yes. yes. Are you friends? Yes. yes. <laughs> Do you all live in the same house? No. no. Great. <laughs> we, work we work together. We oh, work you work together? together? Yes. I thought you didn't have jobs. Oh, we do. <laughs> this is her oh, mother. Oh, this mother. is your mom? Yes. Yeah. Welcome. Thank Welcome. You. And, but you all work together. Yes. As what? Insurance adjusters. <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> I should have asked them before. <laughs> insurance adjustment, eh? That sounds great. <laughs> uh, did you adjust any insurance today? No. no. I did. <laughs> you did? Great. Uh, you're not an insurance adjuster. No. What do you do? Real estate. <laughs> you sell it? I rent it. You rent it? <laughs> to other people? Yes. So what we have here then is four insurance people, three insurance people, and a slum landlord. <laughs> but the good news is this, everybody. I found a bag. <laughs> Which makes me think that one of these ladies brought her bag up from the audience. Is that true? Yes. Is that you brought your bag up? <laughs> Is that because you think everyone else in the audience looks shifty? <laughs> <laughs> These are the only four people that I thought didn't look shifty in the audience, and it shows you how wrong I am because three of them work in the jurors and one is. I can have Please state your names for the folks at home. Juanita. Juanita. Summer. Oh. <laughs> Have I ever met either one of you before? No. no. I knew you were going to say that. So, <laughs> uh, uh, are you related in any way? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Does this refresh your memory? Are you related in any way? Yes. <laughs> That's it? What, 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 in what way? This is my lovely daughter, Summer. Oh, how lovely. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's for legal reasons, I think. <laughs> so, you're very um, tall in your family, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> I said, I like a tall woman. It's good, it's good that. Uh, do you have a boyfriend for Valentine's Day or a husband? Or a husband. Right. Is he also tall? Uh, he's my height, yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you? What? Are you her height? No. Oh. <laughs> no, do you, uh, do you anyone uh, around for Valentine's Day? I have a husband. Well, there you go then. You both, <laughs> both have Daddy. husands. Aren't you? Oh, you're married to her father? Yes. I'm terribly old-fashioned of you. <laughs> really? How long has this been going on? 31 years. 31 years? Are you insane? You don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> That's lovely. Congratulations. Uh, is he here for St. Valentine's night? No. He's in Oklahoma. He's in Oklahoma? Mm-hmm. Why? <laughs> Business. Mm -hmm. Business in Oklahoma, eh? Mm -hmm. Did he send you anything nice for Valentine's? No. He didn't? No. Leave him. <laughs> okay. No, 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 you mustn't. Do your husband get you anything nice for Valentine's Day? Um, we'll see. <laughs> well, it's already 12.37 in your region. 
<laughs> so, he, you know, he, he better. Yeah, I know we can... Look, I'm talking to the ladies about Valentine's Day. We'll get to your commercials, thank you. <laughs> Valentine's Day isn't about commercialism. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, ladies. You look lovely. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. I know what you're thinking, Craig, why are you doing a commercial for spreadable margarine? <laughs> Ladies, please state your name for the folks at home. Sara Dindgren, Hanna Hedqvist. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from, ladies? Sweden. Sweden. <laughs> Do you know each other? Yeah, yeah. we're roommates. Roommates? <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> what are you, I, look, I, I, uh, I want to just check something. I've, uh, I've got a bit of a head cold, as you can probably hear, and I've been taking some medication. Do, are you real? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so, do you guys live in Los Angeles? Yeah, yes. Oh, uh, what are you doing here? I go to school. Really, what are you studying? Fashion merchandising, film. Oh. <laughs> well, that's rather nice. Fashion merchandising and film. Project Runway, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. <laughs> what part of Sweden are you from? Westeros. Ah, is that anywhere near Trondheim? <laughs> that's not in Sweden. That's in Norway. That's not Correct, that is in Norway. <laughs> You are Swedish after all. <laughs> so, have you ever been to Stockholm? Yes. Yeah. Have you ever been to the Cafe Opera in Stockholm? Yeah. No. <laughs> so I you have, have. I have. And you have not? No. I have. Really? Yeah. <laughs> How did you like it? It was awesome. <laughs> so, how long will you be in America? Two years. Um, Indefinitely. <laughs> Did you say something Swedish there? No. I, I tried to speak English, but... No, your English is very, very good. Better than mine, I think I can hear many people say. No, I, just, I don't know how long I will be here. I how long the Americans will have me, I guess. Oh, I think... <laughs> I think we're good. I think I speak for the entire nation. As a naturalized American... We could do with more of you. <laughs> well, girls, I know that being molested uh, verbally by creepy old men is probably your <laughs> idea of fun. I'm afraid you have to return to your seat, but not before you win a prize. Ooh. It's a new thing I've just put into the show. <laughs> right now. Yeah. No, I know you want me to give out candy, but if you think I'm going to be the guy on TV that gives candy <laughs> to the girl, because I'm going to have the catch a predator guy will come out of there and he'll be like, did you really think you were doing a TV show? No, uh, you get to win this, uh, let's see, what have we got? Um, well, we've got a, a deck of cards and a pen. There you are. your names and where you are from for the folks at home, beginning with the young lady. Okay, my name is Tatiana and I'm from Russia. Tatiana from Russia? They're not celebrities. <laughs> yes, of course you are. Tatiana from Russia and? Amira from uh, Germany. Oh, you're from Germany? Yeah. And uh, you two uh, romantically linked? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, well, well. <laughs> I see. Which, uh, which part of Russia are you from, Tatiana? Smolensk. It's Smolensk! I know Smolensk! Really? Yes! <laughs> it's close to Moscow. It is very close to Moscow. You can get there by train. Yeah. <laughs> I 
have done it. Yes. And which uh, which part of Germany are you from? Uh, directly from Hamburg. Hamburg. Yeah. <laughs> Great! <laughs> yes! How did you two meet? Uh, here. In uh, America? Yeah. Ah, you see, the melting pot that soothes the troubled water. <laughs> Are you, uh... Um... Living in the same house? <laughs> oh, boy. Uh... <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> because I live here and here. Oh, is, there, is this a new thing? This is a, yeah, oh, yeah, fairly new. I live here and he lives in Germany. Yeah. Oh, you still live in Germany? Germany. Do you, uh, do you, uh, how's your English? Is it okay? How's oh, mine? I think so. Yeah. It's good enough. In and out. Yeah. That's, that's mine, too. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. So, um, you're over visiting? Yeah, I'm visiting. Yes. Yeah, I, do, I live yeah. here. You live here. Uh, what do you do here? Mm, I do photography. No, didn't get any of that. <laughs> Uh, I'm taking pictures. Oh, you're a photographer? Yep. I see. I always think, you seem very enthusiastic. I always think of Russian people as being kind of, eh. <laughs> <laughs> I might make a joke about that later on. <laughs> well, this is very nice. I wish you well. Um, what do you do for a living? Your job? Profession? Uh, yeah, I've got a catering company in Germany. In catering? Catering, yeah. yeah. Make hamburgers? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I think this is lovely. I love when this show becomes a sort of League of Nations where people from all over come and, you know, this is what we say. We say right in, the, in front of uh, CBS, we say, give us your tired, your poor, your, uh, your Russian photographers from Smolensk, <laughs> your... Catering business managers from Hamburg. <laughs> Bring them over here, we say, and we'll bore the arse off them. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody here planning on seeing a different show today? <laughs> studio audience may be here as their second choice of television program. <laughs> ladies, ladies, please state your uh, names for the folks at home, would you? My name is Donna Knox. Donna? Denise Shirley. Denise? Amanda Palmieri. Yeah. Donna Brown. <laughs> <laughs> birthday is it? It's my birthday. Oh, it's your birthday. Please don't sing happy birthday. No one can afford that. Okay. No. That's true. Okay. May I ask you ladies, uh, were you planning on going to The Price is Right today? Uh, no. 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 Are you serious? <laughs> they lie. Shut up. <laughs> so, why, uh, what are you dressed as? Um, uh, lucky lady leprechauns, and I'm the pot of gold. <laughs> but purple's my favorite color, so... That's great. I don't look good in yellow. Did you get into the prices right? No, they no. dissed us. Who yeah. dissed us? Wonder why. <laughs> now, let me ask you a question. Yes. And uh, do you enjoy the prices right? It's a great show, and yes, Drew Carey is yes. a friend of mine. Oh. Yes. I, I like Although him. he was my friend more when he was fat. I don't know who this new guy is. <laughs> Can I ask you, do you prefer fat Drew Carey or new, thin, improved, handsome Drew Carey? Uh, fat. Same. A lot more to love. I yeah. like the fat. Yeah. yeah. Well, I kind of like the new, handsome-looking one. <laughs> She's a forgiver. But I'm not, Paul. <laughs> Are you a member of Al-Qaeda? Well, as it's your birthday and you didn't get into the prices right, we thought we'd offer you the chance to win a prize here. Woo! 
<laughs> it's a very simple bra. There's fifty dollars in this bag. Okay. It's uh, in quarters and it's got a dollar sign on it, so you know it's worth. And there's fifty dollars in here that I use to bribe celebrities. That is one hundred dollars. Wait, 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 wait. Don't applaud that. It's very simple math. I, I... All right, one hundred dollars. Right? Okay. If you can answer a simple question. Okay. I can confer with them, right? Sure. Okay. okay. <laughs> Who is your favorite CBS personality? <laughs> I have an answer. Yes? Uh, Craig Ferguson? Yes, I can Please you state your name for the folks at home? Christine Stiegel. Stiegel? Yeah. <laughs> That's a nice name. Thank you. What is that, German? Um, I... maybe? <laughs> Are you trying to tell me you don't even know where you're from, Christine Stiegel? Part... If that is your real name. <laughs> I'm part German, so it's possible. Really? I think, it, I think the Stiegel part probably sounds German to me. Where are you from? Um, California. Really? Yeah. Which part? Southern California, Orange County. I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> you look slightly unusual for someone from Orange County, if you don't mind me saying so. <laughs> Do you enjoy the store Hot Topic? No, I don't. You don't? No. Oh, I feel such a fool. I've gotten it wrong, haven't I? It's okay. No, uh, well, th you've got a style thing going on, though. Thank you. What, has it got a name? Not really. Right? No. It's nice, though. I like it. Thank it's kind you. of got a little 50s retro vibe, but a tiny little bit of goth in there, too, if you don't mind me saying so. A little bit, you know, with a... Mm. <laughs> Does your taste in music reflect your taste in clothes? Yes. I see. Which music do you like? I like punk and I like traditional rockabilly and garage and 60s rock and roll and northern soul. I used to be in a punk band, you know. Really? It's awesome. Yeah, look, look what happened to me. <laughs> look what happened to the big tough rebel from the punk band. <laughs> Stuck in the basement wearing a cheap suit. <laughs> You know, if it wasn't for people like you coming down here and saying hello, this job wouldn't be worth anything. Thank you. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't want to be... I just thought about that. That's not true. I actually quite like my job. Do you like your job? If I had one, I would probably like it. Uh, well, what, what kind of job would you like? This could be your big shop. Maybe, you know, someone who has a business is up late, can't sleep or something like that. Trying to get into the TV and film industry. Oh, uh, you've uh, come to the uh, wrong place. <laughs> we'll be right back. Over here. We'll be right back. Rachel. Rachel? Where are you from, Rachel? New Hampshire. Really? I wouldn't have guessed from your <laughs> shirt. <laughs> so, Rachel, if that is your real name, <laughs> do you know that before you, we started doing the show, there was a big argument at CBS because they wondered if your shirt might be advertising. <laughs> I was like, advertising for what? To people with bad teeth. <laughs> That's right, you see, the, the conceit is here, of course, that I'm an English rabbit and I hate Scottish people, but of course, <laughs> nothing could be further from the truth. I love Scottish people. I love especially what one is doing to me right now. <laughs> Rachel! 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 <laughs> Pay attention to 
to me? <laughs> Do you have a job? No. <laughs> I see. What would you like to do if you did have a job? <laughs> you'd like to be a shoulder model. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a lovely job. <laughs> Where'd you get your <laughs> T-shirt? <laughs> Highland Games. Highland Games? Where? What, what Highland Games? Where were they? Uh, New Hampshire. <laughs> Scottish Highland Games in New England? What the is going on? <laughs> Get out of here. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying out my new walk. Okay. All right. <laughs> Please state your name for the folks at home. Travis. Travis, you say. Where are you from, Travis? San Antonio. San Antonio, Texas? Yes, sir. I see. <laughs> Let me ask you, Travis. Are you armed? <laughs> nah. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> now, San Antonio, Texas is one of them, them fancy towns with uh, restaurants and such, isn't it? Yes, lots of burritos. Lots of burritos. I, I've been there. They're really good. Yes. Do you enjoy burritos? On occasion. Yeah? What's your favorite? Your favorite? What's your favorite? <laughs> What's your favorite type of burrito? Uh, anything with lots of guacamole. You like guacamole? Oh, yeah. Did you know that guacamole is made from avocados? <laughs> and did know. you know that the Aztec word avocado means testicle? <laughs> that is true. No, Dr. Oz told me that when he was here on the show. You know Dr. Oz, like Oprah's doctor. So yeah, you know yeah. it's true, man. Yeah, yeah. In Texas, are you still mad at Oprah? No. <laughs> you said that like you were never mad at Oprah. I, I wasn't. No? What do you do for your job? I'm a student. Really? What are you studying? Uh, engineering. Engineering? What type of engineering? Genetic Tra engineering? <laughs> like bridges and stuff? Yeah. Civil engineering? Yes. I see. Have you designed any bridges yet? None that worked. <laughs> you can design a new type of burrito. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to design? Um, buildings, mostly. Buildings? Yeah. What kind of building? Like a shed or something <laughs> larger? School? Oh, I wouldn't put kids in anything I build. Uh, <laughs> what about a burrito-shaped building? That could work. Yeah. Could it? <laughs> yes. Oh, great. <laughs> my new best friend, Travis. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> Please state the name for the folks at home. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise! Just a dude in the audience that looks really like Tom Cruise. Oh, I'm, I'm Tom Cruise. You're actually Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. <laughs> then let's just ask you a few questions to make sure of that. <laughs> Tom, if that is your name, how tall are you? Six foot tall. <laughs> you, sir, are not Tom Cruise. <laughs> I've met Tom Cruise. Uh, you, you look really like Tom Cruise. I bet you get a lot of, um, attention. Not, not really, no. Never, never happens. Really? Do people say it to you, right? Or I'm not the first person that ever said it, am I? You're the first The first person who ever said it? Today, I mean. Today, yeah. <laughs> what is your actual name? Danny. Danny. Danny Cruise? 
They have to speak now. No, that'd be cool. What do you do for a living? I'm actually a camera assistant. No way. Here at CBS? No. no. Where? Where? Uh, freelance. Oh, uh, big actually, money. Big own, money. Uh, yeah. Children's Hospital. What? You know your previous. Oh yes. You worked on what? Cut all this out, I guess. Oh yeah, no, I cut what out. <laughs> Don't use your technical camera talk with me. <laughs> Yo, uh, Henry Winkler, who was on last, last night, he's, uh, he was in Children's Hospital. That's right, yeah. And you worked with Henry? Mm -hmm. Nicest man in show business. It's all right. <laughs> no, he's very nice. He's very nice. No, come on, you can tell me, man. I mean, he's always nice when he's here. I've always thought Henry was a national treasure, but if you want to come out here be, being some kind of tall Tom Cruise, dissing Henry, I think have I've, a go. I think I've said too much. Uh, <laughs> do you know what's interesting? I'm not kidding. You actually sound a little bit like Tom Cruise as well. Can you, do, can you, can you say this for me? Say, you want the truth. I want the truth. You want it like... Yeah, yeah, like that. I want the truth! This is embarrassing. Uh, no, 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 no. This is this show. The whole show is embarrassing. This is, this is just a moment. Man, this is what it'd be like if Tom Cruise was on the show and I was a foot shorter. We'll be right back, everybody. State your name for the folks at home, would you? Charlene Leland St. John. Charles Lee Jackson II. Charles Lee Jackson II, who looks a little bit like Red Skelton, right? <laughs> Can we grab a Red Skelton? There you go. Yeah. That's better than other redheaded comedians, yeah. I said. Nah. <laughs> I don't know if you watch this show every night, and if you do, I'm terribly sorry, but the. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, the, uh, Jermaine and Charles were on the show before because they met, this was their first date was coming to this show. And yet, here they are again. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You don't know how it's going. This could be a divorce thing. <laughs> when was it you were here? On the 6th. February 6th. The, February the show of the 7th. Uh, what? The show of the 7th. Morning, the late night. It's, Where were it's, you it's on dark the here. It's cold. That's question. <laughs> Let me see that picture of Red Scout again. <laughs> there we go. No. So, uh, so you've continued to date since February. Well, yes. how, how many dates have you been on? Well, our second date, we went to the Bug Zoo. The, the Bug Zoo? <laughs> bug Zoo. <laughs> Where the hell is that? At the uh, museum, Natural History Museum. Oh, the Natural History Museum yeah. in, in Los Angeles? Yeah. Yes. They have one of those here? Yeah. <laughs> How did that go? Then oh, this, it was great. That was good? Yes, a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. Spiders so, and scorpions. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so how many dates have you been on now, then? Um, three. This is the third day? Third uh -huh. date. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see that picture of Red Scout again. <laughs> This is more That's a face you might be seeing later tonight. <laughs> we'll be right back, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Please state your name for the folks at home, would you? Beginning with... Nicole. Dan. Lisa. Josh. Are you guys a band? <laughs> <laughs> What are you? Family. A family, eh? Yeah. You look wholesome, I have to say. You look like a wholesome family. Well, you look like decent, good, hard-working folks. We are you or are you drug dealers? <laughs> decent, hard-working folks. Decent, hard-working folks. Where are you from? Michigan. 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 Which part of Michigan? Uh, Detroit area. Mm. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, on the contrary, I've always been rather fond of Detroit. Have you ever been to the Royal Oak Theater in Detroit? Yes. 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 I have. So have I. No way. Way. <laughs> way. <laughs> yeah, I was there and it was awesome actually. Well, I was on, but other than that, it was great. <laughs> so, I like Detroit. Now, what are you doing here in uh vacation? Vacation. Vacation? We're on spring break. Spring break. Woo. <laughs> I know how to relate to the kids. Uh, uh, what do you do for a living, sir? I'm in sales. 
Mm. Cars? No. <laughs> Why is that funny? <laughs> are you scared? <laughs> I have to say, you are a very wholesome looking family. If this were a horror movie, I wouldn't give you tuppence for your chances. <laughs> You'd be like, wow, they look like a relatable, good, hard-working folks. Nothing bad's gonna happen to them in the first reel. <laughs> you at school? Pardon? Are you at school? Yes. Do you go to Michigan State? Oh, yes, I see. <laughs> I go to Michigan State as well. I was asking your mom. <laughs> you go to Michigan State too? No. What? Uh, Do you want to do a commercial? All right, good, cool. Um, do you do you uh, do you work? Yes, I do. What do you do? I'm a phlebotomist. I work in a hospital. A, a phlebotomist? <laughs> I draw blood. You draw blood? Yes. A phlebotomist? <laughs> what is that? A phlebotomist? A phlebotomist? What is that? It's a phlebotomist. Phlebotomist? Is that what they call it? Phlebotomist? Jeff, did you know that was what it was called? Yes, I did. Oh, you did. <laughs> so I know anyone who didn't know. But what's the family name then? Phlebotomy? <laughs> but what, what is your, your family name? What's your surname? Your, your, your name, you know, your last name, your Handel. name. What Handel. do you have on your name? <laughs> when you look at the mail, uh, is, how do you know? Andaloro. It's Italian. Andaloro. You're a, Andaloro. Andaloro. You're Italian? Yeah. Oh, I am. She's. You're Italian. You're in sales, but not cost. <laughs> Just a thing. <laughs> this is like jaywalking, except I don't go outside, isn't it? <laughs> and I don't get paid as much. <laughs> Can I just throw it a commercial, anyone? It's really easy. You just say, we'll be right back after these messages. Try it. Go, go ahead. You'll be good. <laughs> Me? <laughs> okay, we'll be right back after these messages. It's not easy. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? <laughs> I've enjoyed a lot of shows, but this has been one of my favorites. Everything that happened tonight really happened. <laughs> Melbourne. Melbourne. All over Australia! <laughs> <laughs> You're thinking, wait a minute, that means there's nobody in Australia tonight. <laughs> They're all here! <laughs> Young man! Yeah. Yeah. Please state your name for the ladies and gentlemen at home. Well, I'm Philip. Philip? Yeah. That's it? Like yeah. Sting? <laughs> <laughs> Philip Wieder. Philip Peter? Wieder. Wieder? Yeah. Where, where are you from, Philip? Germany. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. I see. What are you doing in LA? Part of an advance party or something? Yeah. <laughs> so, are you on vacation? Uh, no, I'm a student um, in San Diego. Oh, at the nice. San Diego then. State University. Well, what, what are you doing there? What are you studying? Hey, yeah. Knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> Business administration. Business administration, eh? Yeah. <laughs> nice jacket, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I just bought it. Yeah. We had to make him put on a jacket because he was wearing a t shirt that had a picture of a naked lady on it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the reason why I've brought you out from the studio audience, Philip, okay. and there is a reason, yeah. <laughs> is that unbeknownst to you, you are an exact doppelganger. That's a German word. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what it means? Yeah. Good. Uh, <laughs> you are a doppelganger for a young, brilliant English soccer player. He's not young anymore. He, he's older now, but you look exactly like Gary Lineker. Now, Gary Lineker, if you... <laughs> If you have, do, do we have a picture of Gary Lineker? Put it up then. There's Gary Lineker. <laughs> Is your mind uh -oh. blown? <laughs> yeah. And like, I came out to say hello to the ladies and gentlemen, and you had taken the form of Gary Lineker. <laughs> 
But I think I know what you're up to, Gary Lineker, Philip. Old Nick, <laughs> Beelzebub, the Earl of Hell. <laughs> Taking the form of a great English striker does not fool me. It's only a joke, man. I know you're not saying that. It's all right. <laughs> so, tonight's guest is my. No, no way! I have one thing to do here, and it's to read that. Now, tonight's guest, and that's it. But you can do it if you want. It's okay. all right. Yeah, it's all right. Go ahead, do it. Oh, tonight? Late night. It's, Where are we it's, it's on dark here. It's that cold. That's the question. <laughs> Let me see that picture of Rice Gown again. <laughs> there we go. All right. So. So, uh, so you've continued to date since February. Well, yes. how, how many dates have you been on? Well, our second date, we went to the Bug Zoo. The, the Bug Zoo? <laughs> bug Zoo. <laughs> where, where the hell is that? At the uh, museum, Natural History Museum. Oh, the Natural History Museum yeah. in, in Los Angeles? Yeah. Yes. They have one of those here? Yeah. <laughs> well, how did that go? Then, uh, oh, this, it was great. That was good? Yes, yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Spiders so, and scorpions. All oh, right. right. <laughs> So, uh, so how many dates have you been on now, then? Um, three. This is the third date? Third uh -huh. date. <laughs> Let me see that picture of Red Scout again. Yeah. Uh, this is more... That's a face you might be seeing later tonight. <laughs> we'll be right back, Please state your name for the folks at home. Would you, beginning with Nicole, Dan, Lisa, Josh? Are you guys a band? <laughs> <laughs> what are you? Family. A family, eh? Yeah. You look wholesome, I have to say. You look like a wholesome family. Oh, you look like decent, good, hardworking folks. We are you or are you drug dealers? <laughs> decent, hardworking folks. Decent, hardworking folks. Where are you from? Michigan. 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 Which part of Michigan? Uh, Detroit area. Mm. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, on the contrary, I've always been rather fond of Detroit. Have you ever been to the Royal Oak Theatre in Detroit? Yes. 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 I have. So have I! No way! <laughs> way! <laughs> way! <laughs> yeah, I was there and it was awesome, actually. Great. Well, I was on, but other than that, it was great. <laughs> So, I like Detroit. Now, what are you doing here in, uh... Vacation. Vacation. Vacation? We're on spring break. Spring break. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I know how to relate to the kids. Uh, uh, what do you do for a living, sir? I'm in sales. Mm. Cars? No. <laughs> Why is that funny? <laughs> are you scared? <laughs> I have to say, you are a very wholesome-looking family. If this were a horror movie, I wouldn't give you tuppence for your chances. <laughs> You'd be like, wow, they look like a relatable, good, hard-working folks. Nothing bad's going to happen to them in the first reel. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Hey, it's Bridger and Alex, everybody! I don't know if you remember, Bridger and Alex, uh, Bridger here uh, once was uh, an intern and now is a full-blown production assistant. And, uh... <laughs> And Alex uh, is an intern at the moment, and when Alex joined the show, I said, well, you guys are similar height and colouring, you should be a couple. Um, and, uh, and here we are to announce their engagement. <laughs> wait, 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 I just made that up. I don't know if it's true. Is it true? No. 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 Oh, you thought it was true, Bridger. Sorry, Bridger. No, Bridger, no. it's, it's all right. You guys getting along? You playing nice? Yeah. 
All right. Yeah. You having a fun time? Mm-hmm. Good. Lots of running around. Well, yeah, yeah, look adorable, the pair of you. It's just... <laughs> I feel enormous standing here. <laughs> I mean, you guys could live in the space between my tie and my pants. Well, it's working out. So, uh, how long have you got to go on your internship then, Alex? I think four months. Four months? Still to go? Still to go. Oh, yeah. and then you get a college credit? Yeah, six of them. Six credits? Yeah. Yeah. What the hell are you studying? Theater and film. Oh, well, I guess that yeah. would make sense, uh, you know, what to avoid. <laughs> How's it going with you, Bridger? Enjoying the high life? Yeah, oh, you absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Bridget, I kind of feel you hate me. <laughs> well, not all the time, only when I put you on camera. The rest of the time when you're going around the office, you're like, hey, hey, and then the minute I, we put you on the camera, you're like, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 it's true. Yeah. <laughs> so, hey, He uh, just needs more caffeine, I think. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> They're adorable. <laughs> I know. I'm trying. <laughs> get them to see that. I think we should send you guys on a mission somewhere, hmm? I have decided. Much to the fear of the producers who have just now thought, oh, right, he's going to spend some money. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah, but I just thought we should. We should send you off to do what are the other late night. Do they do, they do remote pieces where people go places and do reports. I got a map. We what we're doing, except no one asked for more, but we're doing it anyway. We're <laughs> doing it anyway. Okay. Well, I, I wish you luck with the... What's the name of the Rocky... Rocket what? Queens. Rocket Queens, yes. I was going to say the Rocky Peppers. That's completely different. <laughs> no, that's, that's not me. No, no. no. So the Rocket Queens, eh? Yeah. Well, that's good. What type of music do you play? Is it rock and roll? Like, 80s music? Really? <laughs> <laughs> it's surprising, right? <laughs> no, no. Not really. Well, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, how many people are in your band? Four people. Well, we should book our band. <laughs> Yeah. Um, this is not legally binding, but when can you make it? <laughs> Michael, can you find a time when we could have the Rocket Queens on the show? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have uh, work permits? Uh, no. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but so many people are American in the band. So. Well, you know, if you're going to play rock and roll, you're going to need a couple of Americans in your band. <laughs> All right, so they'll be fine, but you need to have, you'll need to have your papers done or else, you know, we're a union house, you know. No. Yeah. Yes, yeah. No. Don't say anything against the unions, they'll kill you on the way back to your seat. <laughs> well, I think we just, I think we should book the Rocket Queens on the show, and, and then, if they're good, they'll get on a better show. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody, we'll be right back. <laughs> hey, it's Bridger and Alex, everybody! I don't know if you remember, Bridger and Alex, uh, Bridger here uh, once was uh, an intern and now is a full-blown production assistant. And, uh... <laughs> And Alex uh, is an intern at the moment, and when Alex joined the show, I said, well, you guys are similar height and colouring, you should be a couple. <laughs> um, and, uh, and here we are to announce their engagement. <laughs> wait, 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 I just made that up. <laughs> I don't know if it's true. Is it true? No. 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 Oh, you thought it was true, Bridger. Sorry, Bridger. No, Bridger, no. It's, it's all right. You guys getting along? You playing nice? Yeah. All right. Yeah. You having a fun time? Mm-hmm. Good. Lots of running around. Well, yeah, yeah, look adorable, the pair of you. It's just... <laughs> I feel enormous standing here. <laughs> I mean, you guys could live in the space between my tie and my... <laughs> <laughs> the show. Right now. Yeah. You want me to give out candy, but if you think I'm going to be the guy on TV that gives candy to the girl, because I'm going to have.
have the catch a predator guy will come out of there and he'll be like, did you really think you were doing a TV show? No, uh, you get to win this, uh, let's see, what have we got? Um, well, we've got a, a deck of cards and a pen. There you are. State your names and where you are from for the folks at home, beginning with the young lady. Okay, my name is Tatiana and I'm from Russia. Tatiana from Russia! Don't, don't, don't. Don't. They're not celebrities. <laughs> yes, of course you are. Tatiana from Russia and. Amira from uh, Germany. Oh, you're from Germany? Yeah. And uh, you two uh, romantically linked? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, well. <laughs> I see. Which, uh, which part of Russia are you from, Tatiana? Smolensk. It's got Smolensk! I know Smolensk! Really? Yes! <laughs> it's close to Moscow. It is very close to Moscow. You can get there by train. Yeah. <laughs> I've done it. Yes! And which, uh, which part of Germany are you from? Uh, directly from Hamburg. Hamburg? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. How did you two meet? Uh, here. Uh, In America? Yeah. Ah, you see the melting pot that soothes the troubled water. <laughs> Are you, uh, um, living in the same house? <laughs> oh, boy, uh. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> because I live here and here. Oh, is, there, is this a new thing? Is this a, yeah, oh, yeah, fairly new. I live here and he lives in Germany. Yeah. Oh, you still live in Germany? Germany. Do you, under, do you, how's your English? Is it okay? How's oh, mine? I think so. Yeah. It's good enough. In and out. Yeah. That's, that's mine, too. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. So, um, you're over visiting? Yeah, I'm visiting. Yes. Yeah, you, I live yeah. here. You live here. Uh, what do you do here? Mm, I do photography. No, I didn't get any of that. <laughs> I'm taking pictures. Oh, you're a photographer? Yep. I see. I always think, you seem very enthusiastic. I always think of Russian people as being kind of, eh. <laughs> Were you uh, at the uh, Super Bowl yesterday? I wasn't at the Super Bowl. <laughs> well, I mean, were you watching? Yes. Uh-huh. Was it fun? Yes. Who no. won? <laughs> <laughs> so, IT, eh? You study uh, robots, etc. <laughs> Time. But what do you do in IT? I mean, I hear people say IT all the time, and I'm like, well, what is it? And they go, oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so what is it? What's IT? Uh, computers, computers and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so it's your first day, you say, eh? Welcome <laughs> back, I'm here, of course, with America's... Whoa, hey, oh, hey, whoa, hey, whoa. Hey. Well, you got an arrow between the eyes up there. <laughs> wow. Don't forget, I'm a bow lady. Yeah. <laughs> well, goodbye, back, everybody. I'm here with America's favorite bow lady. <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> They're kicking oh, them out. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah. <laughs> they'll, they'll rough them up, I would say. Wow. Yeah, you they do that to me. Rules. I have to pay extra for you it. You have but... tight rules up in here. Yeah, oh, you can yeah. cuss like a drunken sailor up here, but yeah. that one guy's like, whoa, I love you. <laughs> Please state your name for the folks at home. Ben Dukes. Ben Dukes. Yes, sir. <laughs> Where are you out of, Ben Dukes? LaGrange, Georgia. <laughs> ben Dukes out of LaGrange, Georgia. Yes, sir. <laughs> ben, you have a job here at the show? Yes, sir. What do you do here, Ben? I am an audience coordinator. Yes. <laughs> 
night on the show, one of the audience needed coordinated by you, didn't he, Ben? Yes, sir. What happened, Ben? He uh, decided to scream out in the middle of the show, which is a bit disruptive. I've had the same thing happen to me during sex, Ben. <laughs> I mean, you coming in and throwing people up. <laughs> so, I want to ask you, Ben. Do you tell the studio audience before they come in here to behave themselves? We, we mention it. <laughs> and so this, this jackanape, this rapscallion, he, he yelled right out when uh, Christina Applegate was there. He yelled, he said, Kelly Bundy, didn't he? he I love you, Kelly Bundy. Oh, I he <laughs> What a bastard. Yeah. Did you rough him up outside? I can't talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> Please state your name for the folks at home. Ben Dukes. Ben Dukes. Yes, sir. <laughs> Where are you out of, Ben Dukes? LaGrange, Georgia. Ben Dukes out of LaGrange, Georgia. Yes, sir. Ben. You have a job here at the show? Yes, sir. What do you do here, Ben? I am an audience coordinator. Yes. <laughs> ben, last night on the show, one of the audience needed coordinated by you, didn't he, Ben? Yes, sir. What happened, Ben? He uh, decided to scream out in the middle of the show, which is a bit disruptive. I've had the same thing happen to me during sex, Ben. <laughs> I mean, you coming in and throwing people up. <laughs> so, I want to ask you, Ben. Do you tell the studio audience before they come in here to behave themselves? We, we mention it. <laughs> and so this, this jackanape, this rapscallion, he, he yelled right out when uh, Christina Applegate was there. He yelled, he said, Kelly Bundy, didn't he? he I love you, Kelly Bundy. Oh, I he <laughs> What a bastard. Yeah. Did you rough him up outside? I can't talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> You're pretty tall, aren't you? Kinda. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty tall too, yeah, but next to you, I don't, I don't, normally I pick shorties out of the audience, so I look tall. <laughs> now I thought, well, I'll have you come down and, and then, now I look like a, like a little feller. <laughs> Do you like little fellers, Ben? <laughs> Don't have any hiding around here anywhere. <laughs> so what I, what I want the, the studio audience to be aware of, and you at home, if you yell out during the show, he'll come to your house <laughs> and throw you out of your own house. <laughs> Van Dukes, everybody, we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, please state your name and your occupation, beginning here. Christina. Elizabeth. Pam. Rachel. And they're all unemployed, apparently. <laughs> I'm trying to give it a bit of energy. Now, the four of you are all sitting together. Did you all arrive at the same time? Yes. yes. Are you friends? Yes. yes. <laughs> Do you all live in the same house? No. no. Great. We work, we work together. We oh, work you work together? together? Yes. I thought you didn't have to forget I'm a bow lady. Yeah. <laughs> well, goodbye, back, everybody. I'm here with America's favorite bow lady. <laughs> wow. Uh, see <laughs> They're kicking oh, him out. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah. <laughs> they'll, they'll rough him up outside as well. Wow. Yeah, you they do that to me. Rules. I have to pay extra for you it. You have but... tight rules up in here. Yeah, oh, you can yeah. cuss like a drunken sailor up here, but yeah. that one guy's like, Whoa, I love you. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Please state your name for the folks at home. Ben Dukes. Ben Dukes. Yes, sir. <laughs> Where are you out of, Ben Dukes? LaGrange, Georgia. Ben Dukes out of LaGrange, Georgia. Yes, sir. Ben, you have a job here at the show? Yes, sir. What do you do here, Ben? I am an audience coordinator. 
Yes. <laughs> night on the show, one of the audience needed coordinated by you, didn't he, Ben? Yes, sir. What happened, Ben? He uh, decided to scream out in the middle of the show, which is a bit disruptive. I've had the same thing happen to me during sex, Ben. <laughs> uh, I mean, you coming in and throwing people up. <laughs> so, I want to ask you, Ben. Do you tell the studio audience before they come in here to behave themselves? We, we mention it. <laughs> and so this, this jackanape, this rapscallion, he, he yelled right out when uh, Christina Applegate was there. He yelled, he said, Kelly Bundy, didn't he? he I love you, Kelly Bundy. Oh, said, uh, <laughs> what a bastard. <laughs> yeah. Did you rough him up outside? I can't talk about that. Yeah. Pretty tall, aren't you? Kinda. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty tall too. Yeah, but next to you, I don't. I don't. Normally, I pick shorties out of the audience, so I look. Oh. <laughs> now I thought, well, I'll have you come down, and, and then now I look like a like a little feller. <laughs> Do you like little fellers, Ben? <laughs> don't have any hiding around here anywhere. <laughs> So what I, what I want the, the studio audience to be aware of, and you at home, if you yell out during the show, he'll come to your house <laughs> and throw you out of your own house. <laughs> Van Dukes, everybody, we'll be right back. <laughs> Sweden. Sweden. <laughs> Do you know each other? Yeah, yeah. we're roommates. Roommates? <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> what are you, I, look, I, I, uh, I want to just check something. I've, uh, I've got a bit of a head cold, as you can probably hear, and I've been taking some medication. Do, are you real? <laughs> So, do you guys live in Los Angeles? Yeah, yes. Oh, uh, what are you doing here? I'm going to school. Really? What are you studying? Fashion merchandising, film. Oh. <laughs> well, that's rather nice. Fashion merchandising and film. Project Runway, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. <laughs> what part of Sweden are you from? Westeros. Ah, is that anywhere near Trondheim? <laughs> That's in Sweden. That's in Norway. That's not... Correct! That is in Norway! <laughs> it seems you are Swedish after all. So, have you ever been to Stockholm? Yes. Yeah. Have you ever been to the Cafe Opera in Stockholm? Yeah. No. <laughs> so I you have, have. I have. And you have not? No. I have. Really? Yeah. <laughs> how did you like it? It was awesome. <laughs> so, how long will you be in America? Two um, years. Indefinitely. <laughs> did you say something Swedish there? No. I, I tried to speak English, but... No, your English is very, very good. Better than mine, I think I can hear many people. Well. No, I, just, I don't know how long I will be here. I How see. long the Americans will have me, I guess. Oh, I think... <laughs> think we're good? I think I speak for the entire nation. <laughs> As a naturalized American, we could do with more of you. <laughs> well, girls, I know that being molested uh, verbally by creepy old men is probably your <laughs> idea of fun. I'm afraid you have to return to your seat. But not before you win a prize. It's a new thing I've just put into the show. Right now. Yeah. No, I know you want me to give out candy, but if you think I'm going to be the guy on TV that gives candy to the girl, because I'm going to have the catch a predator guy will come out of there, and he'll be like, did you really think you were doing a TV show? No, uh, you get to win 
This, uh, let's see if you don't mind me saying so. <laughs> Do you enjoy the store hot topic? No, I don't. You don't? No. Oh, I feel such a fool. I've gotten it wrong, haven't I? It's okay. Uh, well, th you've got a style thing going on, though. Thank you. What, has it got a name? Not really. Right? No. It's nice, though. I like it. It's Thank kind you. of got a little 50s retro vibe, but a tiny little bit of goth in there, too, if you don't mind me saying so. A little bit, you know, with a... Mm. <laughs> Does your taste in music reflect your taste in clothes? Yes. I see. Which music do you like? I like punk and I like traditional rockabilly and garage and 60s rock and roll and northern soul. I used to be in a punk band, you know. Really? It's awesome. Yeah, look, look what happened to me. <laughs> look what happened to the big tough rebel from the punk band. <laughs> Stuck in the basement wearing a cheap suit. <laughs> You know, if it wasn't for people like you coming down here and saying hello, this job wouldn't be worth anything. Thank you. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't want to be... I just thought about that. That's not true. I actually quite like my job. Do you like your job? If I had one, I would probably like it. Uh, yeah. Well, what, what kind of job would you like? This could be your big shop. Maybe, you know, someone who has a business is up late, can't sleep or something like that. Trying to get into the TV and film industry. Oh, uh, you've uh, come to the uh, wrong place. <laughs> we'll be right back. Then, we'll be right back. Rachel. Rachel? Where are you from, Rachel? New Hampshire. Really? I wouldn't have guessed from your <laughs> shirt. <laughs> so, Rachel, if that is your real name, <laughs> do you know that before you, we started doing the show, there was a big argument at CBS because they wondered if your shirt might be advertising. <laughs> I was like, advertising for what? To people with bad teeth? <laughs> That's right, you see, the, the conceit is here, of course, that I'm an English rabbit and I hate Scottish people, but of course, <laughs> nothing could be further from the truth. I love Scottish people. I love especially what one is doing to me right now. <laughs> Too quickly. <laughs> True. Oh. <laughs> Um, true. True is the correct answer. You win fifty dollars. You win a CD. We gotta go. Good night, everybody. Take care. <laughs> Please uh, state your name for the ladies and gentlemen at home. My name is Marine. Marine. Yeah. I see. Oh, the C. <laughs> Marine. <laughs> Where are you from, Marine? I'm from France. Mm, France, you say? Yeah. Which part of France? South of France. South of France. <laughs> Would that be near Marseille? Exactly. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> you are from Marseille? Yeah. Is that why you're called Marine? Mm, I don't think so. Okay. Not everybody called Marine in Marseille. No, I know it. Not everybody's <laughs> called Marine. That would be very confusing. Marine? What? <laughs> What are you doing in Los Angeles? Uh, I'm studying English and I get a band. You have a band? A rock band. A rock band? Yeah. A French rock band? Yeah. That'll be great. Isn't that great? No, I believe you. Did, did you all come over from Marseille? Yeah. What is the name of your band? Rocket Queens. I like them. <laughs> and we're playing in the House of Blues in two weeks. You are? Yeah. You might actually, you're good then. I think so. <laughs> Very impressive. I'm suddenly thinking you probably could do better than be on the show, Marie. <laughs> Have you ever been to Paris? Yeah, sure. My brother lives in Paris. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Maybe I've met him. We were in Paris earlier this year. 
Oh, there's a lot of What's your brother's name? Well, what's his name? Uh, Jeff. Yes! <laughs> you met him. Yes. Jeff. He's awesome, yeah. yeah. Well, his name is Jeff. Yeah, and I know. we met that. And he's awesome, too. Yeah, remember that other guy, Jeff, that we met? Oh, yeah, he you was know. great. Marine's brother. <laughs> no way. Yeah. What are the odds? <laughs> You know that the shows that we made in France, we're repeating next week. When I say repeating, it's an encore performance. You know, like when, <laughs> you know when, um, when your band is playing and you do really well and the audience go, more! Yeah. That's what we're doing, except no one asked for more, but we're doing it anyway. We're <laughs> doing it anyway. Okay. Well, I, I wish you luck with the, what's the name of the Rocky? Rocket Queens. Rocket Queens, yes. I was going to say the Rocky Peppers. That's completely different. <laughs> no, that's, that's not me. No, right. no. So the Rocket Queens, eh? Yeah. Oh, that's good. What type of music do you play? Is it rock and roll? Like 80s music? Really? <laughs> <laughs> it's surprising, right? <laughs> no, no. Not really. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, I mean, how many people are in your barrow between the eyes up there? <laughs> wow. Don't forget, I'm a bow lady. Yeah. <laughs> Well, goodbye, everybody. I'm here with America's favorite bow lady. <laughs> wow. Uh, see <laughs> They're kicking oh, him out. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah. <laughs> they'll, they'll rough them up outside, isn't it? Wow. Yeah, you they do that to me. Rules. I have to pay extra for you it. You have but... tight rules up in here. Yeah, oh, you can yeah. cuss like a drunken sailor up here, but yeah. that one guy's like, Whoa, I love you. <laughs> Please state your name for the folks at home. Ben Dukes. Ben Dukes. Yes, sir. <laughs> Where are you out of, Ben Dukes? LaGrange, Georgia. <laughs> ben Dukes out of LaGrange, Georgia. Yes, sir. Ben, you have a job here at the show? Yes, sir. What do you do here, Ben? I am an audience coordinator. Yes. <laughs> On the show, one of the audience needed coordinated by you, didn't he, Ben? Yes, sir. What happened, Ben? He uh, decided to scream out in the middle of the show, which is a bit disruptive. I've had the same thing happen to me during sex, Ben. <laughs> uh, I mean, you coming in and throwing people up. <laughs> so, I want to ask you, Ben. Do you tell the studio audience before they come in here to behave themselves? We, we mention it. <laughs> and so this, this jackanape, this rapscallion, he, he yelled right out when uh, Christina Applegate was there. He yelled, he said, Kelly Bundy, didn't he? he I love you, Kelly Bundy. Oh, I said, was there. <laughs> what a bastard. Yeah. Did you rough him up outside? I can't talk about that. Yeah. Pretty tall, aren't you? Kinda. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty tall too. Yeah, but next to you, I don't. I don't. Normally, I pick shorties out of the audience, so I look. Tall. <laughs> then I thought, well, I'll have you come down, and, and then now I look like a like a little feller. <laughs> Do you like little fellers, Ben? <laughs> don't have any hiding around here anywhere. <laughs> So what I, what I want the, the studio audience to be aware of, and you at home, if you yell out during the show, he'll come to your house <laughs> and throw you out of your own house. <laughs> Van Dukes, everybody, we'll be right back. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, Craig, why are you doing a commercial for spreadable margarine? <laughs> Ladies, please state your name for the folks at home. Sara Dindgren, Hanna Hedqvist. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from, ladies? Sweden. Sweden. <laughs> Do you know each other? Yeah, yeah. we're roommates. Roommates? <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> what are you, I, look, I, I, uh, I want to just check something. I've, uh, I've got a bit of a head cold, as you can probably hear, and I've been taking some medication. Do, are you real? 
Um, okay. So, do you guys live in Los Angeles? Yeah. Yes. Oh, uh, what are you doing here? We go to school. Really? What are you studying? Fashion merchandising. Film. Oh. <laughs> well, that's rather nice. Fashion merchandising and film. Project Runway, Girl with a Dragon Tattoo. <laughs> what part of Sweden are you from? Westeros. Ah, is that anywhere near Trondheim? <laughs> That's in Sweden. That's in Norway. That's not... Correct, that is in Norway. You... <laughs> it seems you are Swedish after all. So, have you ever been to Stockholm? Yes. Yeah. Have you ever been to the Café Opera in Stockholm? Yeah. No. <laughs> so you have. I have. And you have not? No. I have. Really? Yeah. <laughs> how did you like it? It was awesome. <laughs> so, how long will you be in America? Two um, years. Indefinitely. <laughs> did you say something Swedish there? No. I, I I tried to speak English, but... No, your English is very, very good. Better than mine, I think I can hear many people say. No, I just, I don't know how long I will be here. I how long the Americans will have me, I guess. Oh, I think... <laughs> I think we're good. I think I speak for the entire nation. As a naturalized American, we could do with more of you. <laughs> Well, girls, I know that being molested uh, verbally by creepy old men is probably your <laughs> idea of fun. I'm afraid you have to return to your seat, but not before you win a prize. It's a new thing I've just put into the show.